always looking left right now. Now I always do the opposite of what he wants to do. If I notice him looking left, I turn him right. He looks right, I turn left. I actually want to ask him for a turnaround when he's out of shape. And in the beginning, they'll fumble it completely. But if you keep doing it, okay, when they look off that way, you turn right, and when they look right, you turn left, pretty soon they start to lock in and keep their head straight. But if you only turn them the way they're looking, you, 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 you're babysitting them too much. Love that. Ooh. Love that. The one good thing about him being deaf is um, uh, when I'm talking and teaching you guys, that me talking doesn't inter interfere with the training that much. A lot of my other horses, I, obviously I'm not talking when I'm training them every day, so when I put them on camera and I start talking to you guys and training them, some of them get a little bit confused and start kind of listening to my voice too much and they, 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 just, it, they just get a little off. I can notice him, uh, you know, there's no real change in him because he couldn't hear me in the first place. Like he felt like he was a little bit pushing to the outside, so I'll, I'll pick him up, push him off that leg here. Let him, I love that. Just let, when he drops his neck down there, I kind of, so he's looking a little bit to the left, turn around right. Ooh, good boy, I'm real happy with that. For six and a half months of training, that's perfect. Like, you probably can't tell from the cameras, but I, I feel like it would take very little to, to speed that up tremendously. Like he's got, he feels like he's at gear number two right there, and I got three more gears ahead of that for speed. I don't want to take advantage of that right now. What I'm trying to do is build his confidence. Ooh. That's it. I'm done with turnarounds today. He's, he's a little better than what he was yesterday. I usually work on the turnarounds like that probably three, three to four days a week. Not every day, I think if you do it every day, they get a little tired and, and you know, a little pissy about it. Eh, we're doing the same thing. Horses, young horses are like kids. They don't want to do the same boring crap every boring day. You know, get, you got to give them a little, variety is the spice of life. Consistency is what teaches them to learn, but variety is what keeps them interested in the game, okay? So now that I've turned him around, he's looking for a little bit of air again. So I would not rest him again here. I'm near the camera right here. Um, but when I go to rest him, again, I head back over this side of the arena. Now, some horses, you'll have to move the magnet. If I know, some of my colts, they'll get to where they lean towards this wall. And if they do that, then I always rest them in the middle of the arena, not on that fence, because that would get them back over there too bad. But I'll rest them in the middle. That's not common, okay? So I'll bring him back over. And, and every time I come over, I usually change which side they're on the fence. Like, so now his left eye is resting against the left fence. Last time I was facing that way. So usually when I stop, I'll flex him just a little bit. Good boy. So even though he's a fertility horse this year, me mentally, I think he's a two-year-old still. Build his confidence, build his confidence, build his confidence. Take your time, take your time, take your time. You know, when Ian Francis looked at me and said, Clinton, great horses don't come along every day. Take care of him. I knew exactly what he meant. And it's been a long time since I had a great one like this one. I don't know, well, I've never had one as good as this one. Even though he kind of was a bit of a jackass today, kicking up my leg, you big pile of shit. Okay, you good boy. But I'm glad he did that anyway, okay? Good boy. So this is the first time we've kind of really worked on the spin on this particular horse. So, um, you know, he's had a little over six months of training. I started the turnarounds out and I just want to see, every day I start turning a horse around, I want to see what I've got. So I start him and I just kind of sit there. 
I don't care how good it is and I really don't care how bad it is. I'm just trying to get a guide for what have I got to work with today. And from that, then I make my adjustments. Do I need more leg, less leg, more bend, less bend? I make my adjustments from that. But I find if you start out protecting them and trying to make them be perfect, you're kind of misled to what you really got. But if you just go out there and turn them and put your hand down and say, okay, big boy, see what you're gonna do? They'll rat themselves out very quickly. So after I made a few corrections to him, I thought he turned around great. I was very happy for the amount of training he's had. Okay, mate, well, I think that's a pretty good uh, session right there. I was happy with everything that happened. Um, you know, again, in every training session, you're just trying to build a little bit more. Like, it's like, how do you get to the top of Mount Everest? One damn step at a time. Just one step, and then tomorrow, one step, and then tomorrow. So, a lot of times when you're training a horse, you may not be happy with the entire training session. Obviously, when he kicked at my leg, I didn't like that. But it's just part of the progress. But he overall did really well in the training lesson. So, I don't try to dissect every part of the training session. I just say to myself when I get off, was he better than yesterday? And if the answer is yes, I'm going the right direction. If the answer is no, I need to rethink. Do I need to do something different? Do I need to help him more? What do I need to do? Explain. My job as a horseman is to get Titan to understand what I need him to do. So sometimes I have to change what I'm doing to allow him to be his best. I got no pride in the deal. You know, my job is to make it simple for him to understand. So uh, we're going to bring him back again and train him again uh, tomorrow. And uh, that way I can get a couple of filmings done and I can also show you a little bit more improvement. We didn't circle him today and I don't always circle and stop and do everything every day. In fact, you don't because they'll run out of air, okay? So I was happy with what I got done today. Look at it like this. When you make some improvement, it's like putting a small deposit in the bank. If you put $5 in your bank account every damn day, after 20 years, it's a big chunk of change. Just a little bit every day, a little bit every day. So, so to get off him now, I would never just get off him here, close to that fence, okay? So I'll ride him back over here, and I always get off him on this side of the arena. So that again, I'm releasing that magnet over here. I'm saying, hey, if you come over this end of the arena, you might get a rest or Clinton will get off you. If you run towards your pasture buddies and the horses on the fence, it's more work for you. Stop him, flex him a little bit. Make sure he's nice and light. So when I get back on him tomorrow, he feels good. Turn loose, I get off him. And I, and, and I always loosen up that girth when I get off him. It's just kind of like another release of pressure. Feels good on their belly to have that pressure off. Okay? Good boy. Hmm? You're a little bit naughty, weren't you? Okay, but overall, overall I thought he did really well, okay? Remember, Training horses is a lot like building muscle. You can't get a lot of muscle on a body quickly. It's just, you build it, just a little bit more. You keep going to the gym five, six days a week, and you know after six months to a year, you see a different shape in the physique, okay? Training horses is exactly the same way. We're making small little bits of improvement every day. Uh, and after enough days, you see a big result. But on an individual basis every day, sometimes it's hard to see the results there. And that's where it's important to just remember consistency. The hardest thing I have with Titan right now, uh, and all my horses for that matter, is just consistency because I'm on the road so much traveling. You know, I'm gone two to three weekends of a month right now. Uh, so it's very difficult for me to keep consistency. So what I try to do is I'll ride them Monday when I get home. I usually ride them twice on Tuesday, twice Wednesday. Um, and maybe once uh, Thursday morning I get up at, at midnight and ride till five or six in the morning and then I go to the airport and fly out for another clinical tour or whatever I'm doing. So I have to really I have to really put in a lot of effort to ride my fertility horses this year because of my travel schedule. In the next two to three years, my travel schedule is going to drop back uh, incredibly to where I'm at home more just training my horses. That's really what I want to do. Good boy, Tyler. I'm proud of you.